This is Peter, breadwinner and head of household. Lois is the name of his wife. While most of us haven't experienced life in the 1950s firsthand, Family Guy offers us a window into the era, blending humor with historical context across various episodes. And introducing Doodles Weaver as Brian the dog. Imagine a typical 50s family, a happy household with three children, two teenagers and a baby, gathered around the breakfast table, followed by a communal cigarette session. Can I ask you a question about girls? Then the father and the eldest son bond over a game of catch. Oh, atomic test, put on your glasses. All while marveling at the distant spectacle of an atomic bomb test. A truly extraordinary, albeit unsettling moment in time. So what's going on if a guy says a girl? This juxtaposition is what makes the era so interesting. Fence. It forces us to reflect on its complex nature. <laughs> where idyllic family life coexisted with looming threats. Oh look, here comes the milkman. Why don't you just buy a TV for the weekend, watch Elvis, and then return it on Monday and say it doesn't work? The show doesn't shy away from the era's gender dynamics either. But hang on, why don't I just get a job to help pay for it? What? No wife of mine is working! For instance, we witness a mother's aspiration to work and contribute to the family income being dismissed by her husband. <laughs> Even though many women were entering the workforce at the time. Women in the workplace, hilarious or disturbing? So, I see you graduated number one in your class from Princeton. That's right, and I'm certified as an accountant and also have a law degree. Job interviews revealed a stark bias, with women judged more on their looks than their skills. Pointy boobs, medium pointy boobs, not so pointy boobs. That's a shame. Now, Mrs. Griffin, where did you go to college? Groceries. It's a significant difference from the 21st century. Very impressive. Where characters like Lois secure employment through passion and expertise. Groceries? I'm hired. Welcome aboard. Irrational and emotionally fragile by nature, female co-workers are a peculiar animal. The show tackles the dynamics of mixed gender workplaces. Be sure to tell them how good they look every day. Even going so far as to produce a hilarious educational video on the subject. You're prettier than Mamie Van Doren. The attitudes towards women in the 1950s differ from today. Nothing says good job like a firm open palm slap on the behind. While the relationships between male and female workers appear closer, some viewers might still feel that the era was unsafe for women. Despite some negative aspects, the 1950s had its merits, at least to somebody. Let's follow Peter and his friends to a large 1950s medical facility. Me and my friends are looking for- Your friends with a negro and a cripple? This man is insane! Ah! Now wait a second, you can't grow speaking up to a white person? This man is insane! Not every visitor was dissatisfied though. Now yeah, look, they- All cripples are insane! Quirkmire, for one, would likely leave a positive review. Yeah, you got any brain-dead women in there you let people have sex with for a few bucks? Sure, come on back. It was one of those lovely warm summer days by the shore. The 1950s were a time of prosperity, joy, and instability. Ah, uh, uh, you dumb bitch! But the lucky one was me. During this time, Carter and Barbara Putishmet presumably first met. <laughs> I love you, pussycup. In one of the bloodiest battles of the war, Carter nearly lost his life. And Carter survived the tumultuous era to build a business empire. If you're interested in experiencing the 1950s, consider visiting the Nifty 50s Diner in Quahog. You know, kids, there's a lot of history here. Marilyn Monroe, Elvis, and look, there's James Dean after the accident. It promises a trip back to this dynamic era and an unforgettable experience. Oh, look, Cleveland finally made it. Oh, hey there, Griffins. <laughs> oh, that takes me back. 